Here's where we're starting, 13294. It's a rainy, dreary day. Getting a late start, so I don't know how many miles I'm going to put in today. Probably not as many as usual. But I'm trying to get my ride in in between the rain, so uh, we'll see what we can get done here. Let's get going. I went back to two pairs of pants because it's cold today. We had some warm weather in the 60s, and now it's back down in the 40s. And boy, you get spoiled the warm weather really fast. And this is not warm weather no more. Of course, those of you that are in the north, you'd probably be happy to see 40s. But everything's you know relative. I have relatives that live in the north. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, so we're gonna go out and do a little ride today. I'm gonna bundle up and uh, yeah, see how it goes. And my driveway is kind of a mess, but uh, supposed to get some more rain tonight again, so it'll be worse probably tomorrow. But we'll see. Yep, I'm gonna not do no 360 today because. I noticed the 360 doesn't turn out as well when it's overcast, especially when it's really dark out. So, so we'll just use our regular camera today, get you a few shots here and there. Well, look at the goats. All the goats are out. All goats are out again. <laughs> You can't keep a goat in. If a goat wants out, it'll get out, climb all over your car and everything. But I think I'm gonna have to stop up here and put another hat on. It's cold. Well, I just got a rain alert on my phone, so I don't know. Me, I'll stop. When I stop up here to put my hat on, I'll see what it says. I may be going right back to the house. Well, take a listen to those frogs. Can't believe they're out when it's this cold. Can't believe those frogs are out when it's this cold. It's really cold out here. It's in the lower 40s. Whew, I'm gonna put my head on and see how that goes. Oh, that feels a little better. My head warm <laughs> and everything else will be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get kind of spoiled after a while. When it turns warm, you get kind of spoiled. Sure glad I didn't take off those pogies. My handlebar mitts, as they're sure needed today. Well, we're getting close. I don't want to come in this turn too hot, <laughs> riding one-handed, but we're getting close, 299. <sighs> 299, 13,299. Yeah, that's quite a few miles. <laughs> I think that would take me all the way across the United States, probably all the way up to Alaska. And all the way down to Florida. There we go. 12,300 miles. Yee-hee! 12,300 miles. <laughs> yeah. I should have put my winter goggles back on today. It's kind of cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I'm gonna do a little ride here. Probably not gonna do my 40 or 50 like I usually do because I got a really late start because of the rain. But I told my wife. Oh wow, they're cutting down all this field here. <laughs> well, it looks different. Boy, that looks different. Looks different. Gonna do some planting maybe there. 
Anyways, I told my wife that I feel like a slacker if I don't go out, so I braved it out here to turn this over to 13,300 miles. <laughs> ah, yeah. This is cold, but it's fun. Yeah, I keep getting those rain alerts, but so far, I haven't felt no rain. Not that I want to. Yeah, they got a thing here where we live. You can bury, you can bury your kinfolk any place on your property if you want to. Especially in the country, I don't know about the city, but they might have a problem with that in the city, but out in the country, you can plant, you can plant, you can bury them anywhere. And uh, I seen, a while back I seen a funeral back here, and then I noticed there was a big hill, a big mound over there. And uh, so I thought, oh, I thought, well, they must have buried them there. And then the next day I seen an elderly lady out there sitting on a chair by it. It's so heartbreaking. Yeah, she lost her, she lost her husband, and but she has them on the farm with her so she can go out and talk to them, I guess. You know, people need that connection. It helps them to deal with the grief. And so she has them in her backyard, has him in her backyard or her front yard as the case is, as the case may be. So she can go out and she can sit with them. And yeah, that's heartbreaking. But on a lighter note, I, I did break out the hand warmer and stuck it in the pocket. Cause holding this camera and getting you these shots, it's cold on the hands. So I have to warm up my hands every once in a while. So it's really nice to have those hand warmers. I love those hand warmers, you know. I think I only paid like $10 for them. If you watch them, you know, they go on sale. You may not have your choice of color. You know, I could have got a could have got a blue one, but I wasn't going to pay $19.99 for a blue one when I can get a white one for, for $9.99. Nope, not going to do it. So, but like I said, they're on sale every once in a while. You know, like my, my blue handlebar mitts, I got those for $6 and, and something. So if you keep your eye open, you can find the, yeah, the reason why that happens is when they put a new item on, they want to get some feedback. So they sell it at cost for a while just so they can get some feedback because a lot of people won't buy nothing unless there's, there's some feedback on it. And so in order for them to get some feedback, they go ahead and sell it for at, at uh, cost or sometimes even uh, below cost. So if you look out, you can find some deals. Well, I'm talking now with my mask up. Wonder how this picks up. Wonder how this picks up now with my mask up. And, and now it's down, so we'll see what that sounds like. But yeah, that was all, that was all uh, woods over there before. See where he come out, you can see the mud <laughs> on the wheels. But yeah. Oh yeah. I was getting spoiled by that warm weather. There's where we went so far. 12 miles almost. Yeah, we're doing good here. 13.8 miles. Wind's really strong today. Uh, uh, really strong today. But 
but that's okay, we'll ride anyways. Well, I'm heading up here by my uh, puppies. By my puppies up here. See if they're all out here today or not. they are. They're all laying down over there. Those are the big ones. Where's the little ones? I don't see the little ones. Well, Southern e-biking, is this a horse or a mule? <laughs> Is that a horse or a mule? Southern e-biking. Kind of doesn't look like a horse to me. Maybe a cross? Of course, that's what a mule is, right? <sighs> so maybe you'll know. Is that a horse or a mule? Horse or a mule? That's the question <laughs> for, un, for us uneducated people, for us horse uneducated people, I should say. Yep, I don't know. Looks like it might be a, I don't know. I better be quiet. I'll show my ignorance. <laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? Looking at me like, what are you doing? Of course I'm a horse. <laughs> now that one up there looks like a horse to me. That one looks like a horse. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails. Do you keep smiling until then? Who cares about the clouds and stormy weather? And sunny weather, happy trails to you till we meet again. Love these hills over here. I love riding these hills. <laughs> Don't like meeting cars on them though. <laughs> the road ain't very wide. <sighs> I remember the other day they had this all kinds of junk out here. Now it looks like they come and picked it up. Picked most of it up anyways. There's a few little things blew over again, but looks like they're gonna be on the ball and take care of it. House is getting done. son had a Winnebago like that and I thought maybe that was it because he sold his but I don't think it is. It looks a lot like the same one though. I don't think it is though. It looks in a little better shape. <laughs> ah, 24.2 
Yeah, we're gonna end up around 30, 31 miles probably. Not too bad for a cold, windy day that I got a late start on. Alright, there's where we ended up. 30.6. Took me an hour and 17 minutes and 13,324 miles. Oh, well, that looked like something to catch drug in, but my beard's going crazy. But we got the ride in and uh, we didn't get rained on. That's the main thing. The roads were a little wet, but it was a lot cooler than I was prepared for, so I had to stop and put my hat on, but yeah, no big deal. But had fun, and uh, yeah, so thanks for riding with me today. Goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride, and be always your host when you're needing him most. May the good Lord take a liking.